This is Julia Witta with Talk Story TV, and today we have with us Valerie Luchman, who is going to be talking about her work, which she calls soul coaching. Yes. Tell us more about soul coaching. So what I do is, is I help people find out what their blocks are, why their blocks are, and how to work through them. So not necessarily just eliminate something because there's a lesson to be learned there from whatever stagnation or blockage you're feeling in your life. So we work through the process of why it, it may have shown up and why, because I have some clients that have a really hard time dealing with it, but then when we go back through soul journeying, and actually peeling back all the layers, we see events that took place leading up to a certain incident in their life and then what happened shortly after that either got them away from a situation or brought them to a situation. Uh -huh. And so I work with them on finding out what those are and just how to live with what happened and move on. Okay. So I'm more of a teacher of how to live in the now and I give people tools and train them on how to better center and ground themselves into with the reality of what is happening okay. instead of being in a state of, um, I guess, angst and stress and woe is me, pulling them back out of that. Cause I feel that that's really not a good place for anyone to be ever. Right. I, I believe that, you know, people in general, we, we are powerful and there's a lot of us that feel like we have no power anymore. Mm -hmm. So I try to reach in deep and dig out that empowered feeling in people so that they know that everything is based on their reaction to something. You know, it's not necessarily, you can't change how somebody else is, but uh -huh. you can learn how to deal with it in yourself. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Much easier said than done, of course. Yes. Um, and then here at Aries Holistics, I do the chakra balancing and the light work. Mm -hmm. And so with that, you know, I am a director of energies, you know, conductor, director, and I use crystals and pendulums to find, find, I guess, any any spots on the body, I don't want to necessarily say negative spots because I feel like everything there is there to teach us something. So I have a hard time with um, negativity being there because I feel like everything is, is a teacher and it's there to show you something deeper going on. So it may be negative to you on a surface level, but if you go in deeper, mm -hmm. there's something else underlying that you need to get through and clear out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I use, like the pendulum and the crystals to go through. And then certainly with like the chakra balancing, we work together on activation and clearing and visualization and getting those things working again and finding out why there was a, a stuck or a blockage or, you know, some cloudiness in, in your aura, in mm -hmm. your etheric energy space going on. And, you know, we scrub it. So... <laughs> Scrub it. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, basically, it's just energy medicine. But um, I do like to use the crystals, like for for bigger stuff. Like I would use like a selenite wand, mm -hmm. and allow that crystal to transmute that energy and to absorb it. And so it is kind of like a scrubbing, you know, when you're going over that etheric energy layer and allowing, you know, the gifts of Earth to work with us and work for us. Like they're, so they're you can't good. probably can't do that from online, can you? No, not necessarily. Not with the crystals, not that hands-on. When it's online, it's more the person that you're working with online mm -hmm. needs to be in the mindset that they are powerful healers. They just need some guidance on walking through it. Okay. And clearing out their own energies. So it's it's guided. It's a lot more guided when it's distance mm -hmm. because obviously if I'm not there, they do need That's to, start, <laughs> you know, having their, their own awareness of their power and their ability. 
and learning how to work with that on their own. So that's how we would do like a distance one. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow, so did you think about coming here and doing it in person? In Denver? Junction, Grand Junction. Oh, Grand Junction, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never heard of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm California, you know, Colorado is Denver. So, <laughs> um, you know, I haven't really thought that far ahead yet. I mean, I'm definitely up to travel soon. I'm hoping to soon no longer be lactating. That would be great now that he's over two years old. And <laughs> have my life and my body 100% back to myself for a while. But yeah, um, traveling is definitely, definitely <laughs> on the to-do list pretty soon with uh, raising a toddler at 40 years old. It's, it's been interesting. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, you know. Is that your first? No, no. My first is 21. Okay. <laughs> so you have a big gap between. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> to take place for this last one <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like starting it's over up. it's been so long yes it it really has been like that um surprises every day and I have two other ones and it's just it's it's a lot different from in your early 20s to your 40s there's a reason why mostly young people have kids <laughs> I know right <laughs> yeah it's it's a trip. I tell you, it's, it's definitely, it's taught me more about what I'm doing now, actually in, in this journey and in the soul coaching and in the learning of patience and sharing how to be more patient with ourselves, because that's a big one. You know, everybody tells you, you know, oh, have patience because of this or this or this. And it's like, well, you kind of need to learn how to have patience with yourself as well. Yes. You know, because I give a lot of people that are like, why isn't this happening for me? And I did this, 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 and this. And it's like, because you're on the universe's time, you're not on ego's time. So there's a big gap there, <laughs> you know, like it's not just, it's kind of filter in. You just got to keep doing what you're doing. And then that's what I want to share with you too, um, because this is one of my favorite ones that I have here. I don't know if you've seen this one. Oh, nice. No. Yeah. So. I do. I use this too because I also do divination practices. So I'll use different, you know, divining tools to ask questions to get more answers about a situation when I'm working with somebody. Because I want to make sure that if there's an avenue of answers out there to help somebody else on their journey, that I'm going to use whatever tools I have available to find those answers to help that person wow. and not, not just be like, well, I'm not getting anything from source right now. You know, I'm, I'm going to be like, okay, well, he's not going to talk to me this way or she, mm -hmm. you know, so some, other, some so. other method might work. Well, how about doing a demo? I'm trying to okay. think of an issue. <laughs> think of an issue. Do I need to think of an issue or can you just do a little? No. Well, it's, <laughs> this is where it gets kind of when it's the one Time thing is because sometimes, like especially something like this, it may not be something you want shared. So I think. <laughs> oh, true. Because huh? yeah. this is a public show. Yeah. So I think if you um, just focus on one right now, where did I put my. Oh, I think my pendulum is in. Okay. So how should I ask this? Like, um, I'll ask about the. Well, for now, just mm -hmm. take, take a few deep breaths and get centered in yourself. What is weighing on your heart that you want information to? Well, I'm concerned about my grandson who's joining the army. Oh, wow. I would be concerned. So that one, though. So this is how we'll have to ask it because I do... I don't go into people who I don't have permission to use area. Oh, because other healers will do it. Somebody they, else. Okay. <clears throat> that they've tuned into that person's guides or energy and that they do have that permission. But <clears throat> to me, it feels kind of like a violation. Okay. So how would you 
So I'm trying to think of how, I think if we just ask about how he hasn't joined all the way, has he? Yes, he's already oh. signed. Okay. They're not going to take him till he finishes high school, but that's oh, well, only yeah. a couple, three months, of, four months away. Yeah. Um, God, this one actually hits really close to home. <laughs> <laughs> My son had signed up for the Marines. Oh. The day before high school graduation, he had a seizure. Oh, wow. So he didn't go. No military for you. <laughs> no, my grandson no. keeps getting mad at me. He goes, I know you're praying for something to happen to me, so I can't go. <laughs> yeah, but the universe, it does its own thing. This was a lifelong dream for my son, and he still has hopes, and I still hope that he gets to do what he wants, what he his mind thinks yeah. he needs to do, yes. you know. Maybe the universe has not got that as his plan. Maybe not. But I think, so for you, we'll ask how, I guess we're just going to have to see. What about is the best way thing. for me to? Yeah. To yeah. How is the best way for you to be Supportive in his decisions on his journey. So I think for this one, I want to do just a basic three cards and see. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. This one, you have two aces in here and the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, so basically, gosh, because I'm trying to just keep the focus on you. Mm. Well, the Wheel of Fortune makes me think it's I think it's very good because it has to do with you and like your feelings towards everything. And it's also um, in this deck, it's the harvest card. Oh. Which is basically like your kind of like your root chakra of your being is what this is saying is you have this optimism and this, no matter what happens, it's going to turn out something good. It's going to be something fortunate for this person that you're well i think even negative things that seem negative are learning experiences so yeah. yeah so basically what you have that you have to work with already is your sense of no matter what the outcome no matter where the wheel stops it's going to benefit something and going to be positive but then for your present right now moment feeling of it is the ace of stones which kind of has me thinking that you might be trying to plant a seed for, for a better career for him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> With, you know, you'll make more money because it's, it's um, pentacles. So it would be like, you know, oh, well, you know, you would make more money if you follow this path. You know what I mean? That's what this card feels like is the, what you're trying to share with him. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting over a cold too. <laughs> <clears throat> Every kid had it in this house this last week. So it's my turn now. <laughs> and then, So the recent future, which is something like in your mind's eye that you have to pull from in order to be of, you know, assistance and guidance to him is the ace of arrows, which is the, the second ace card. And that's, you know, about new ideas and patience basically is, it's not old knowledge, old wisdom, but it's going to be a fresh perspective and idea for you to deal with this situation. So that's what I get out of this, is that you're in this place where you're like, you know, if you did this, you'd probably make more money and it'd be more financially secure for you. And then 
what's going to come up out of it though is because I feel like this is on your heart so much is you're going to have this aha. What about this? You know, like how do I, because he doesn't, even though he's signed, it's not definite yet. That's what I keep thinking. Okay. Yeah. He's yeah, it's, fine, it's but not. still. It's not right now. Um, there could still be some time for him to, you know, what's it, six months to the end of the year? Right. That's a long time in 18 year old terms. That's it's true. <laughs> you know, but that's what I would think is that something may come up within you that you can share and be like, okay, there's this, you know, because I don't know if he signed up for two years or for four, three, which I didn't know they could do, <laughs> but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's still a little better than four, six, eight, you know, there's yeah. one that go, you know, falls out eight years right off the bat. So I think you got some time there and maybe this is giving you that time for when he returns. Because we got to still remember that three years on universal time is not much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seems like forever for me yeah. though it's it's Every really time they cool. start another stupid war i'm gonna be worrying about it i think we have time though to i i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> you think you're gonna stop having wars <laughs> um no i don't think that but i i do feel a shift coming and i think a lot of others in like the community that we're all in is like workers feel like there's there's a shift coming to where things are going to get better. There is. I can feel it too. Yeah. Because Rather quickly. People are reacting against all this stuff because mm -hmm. it's so out of line with our values. Everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and on all kinds of levels. But could you believe the whole Congress passed that tax bill? I haven't really followed it. Oh God. I try to just um, shut out. I just keep seeing little bits and pieces here about how now the poor are going to get poorer and the rich are going to get richer. And I'm like, well, what did you expect? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> so I'm kind of just like, it is what it is. You know, there's nothing that I can do about it right now. Yeah. I'd rather hold and harness my energy to help other people, you know, deal with, gosh, the shit show that we're in right now, <laughs> instead of feeling so bad about it. It's just, you know, still being in this mindset of, you know what, we're breathing, the family's here, you know, we're still able to walk this earth, or more, most places are still public, you know, yeah a lot of them where you just you just have to knock on a door and you know ask him please don't shoot me i just want to go walk down this line you know? <laughs> <laughs> on the private ones so i think that that's that's kind of a big thing that i do is you know make sure that people still understand that it is what it is and we can just keep going and going and going or we can just feel bad and miserable and lock ourselves in you know so i want to I, you know, I empower people to get out there and to still keep, keep doing and keep dreaming and keep believing that, you know, we're, we're here for a reason. We're here for a purpose. We're not here just to be, you know, raped and pillaged to death. <laughs> <laughs> At least you and I aren't. <laughs> yeah. That's not, um, that's not how it, how it's working. So yeah, I guess that's basically like what I do in a nutshell. And then you know, I offer the side things like the support of um, crystal grids where um, I will set up a crystal grid for you for an issue that you're working on. And then I work that crystal grid on a daily basis for you because I believe in the, um, in the etheric energy cords, uh -huh. you know, connect each other to somebody else and tuning in and setting intentions for what that person wanted that grid for, whether it's for more money or for peace or just to learn how to be grounded. You know, I make those grids um, crystal specific based on what those crystals are, I guess, resonated frequency, earth frequency tuned to deal with. 
And so that grid will be set up in order to take care of that issue or, you know, be that person's um, kind of like their little etheric support network where I can pull in whatever they're trying to get rid of and basically dump it on a crystal grid to work it out, you know, <laughs> and just. Oh, okay. So yeah, cool. so that's one of the things we do too. And then I know so you have a lot, a lot of essential oils there right behind you. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing. Um, I make our, yeah, is this one we're holding? This one's it. Um, so this is um, the Chakra Illumination Mist. And so this is an essential oil blend. Mm -hmm. How we do with these is there's crystals in here. So this one has a honey agate in it. Oh no, this one has the orange calcite, sorry. This one is the second one, the sacral chakra. So it says, I feel on here. And then while I'm making these, I basically just put into it, I feel, I feel. And you know, feelings that come from the sacral chakra go into this mix. So this has essential oils that resonate with the sacral chakra that are plant medicine for that chakra. So let's see, this one has the lemongrass, bergamot, clary sage, neroli, and orange calcite. And that's how these are done. And then these are the isochronal cosmos oils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that were, you know, relative space and time. And this one is bliss. I am whole. And it's the same thing. So this one has an amethyst and the grapefruit, jasmine, vetiver, lemon, basil, lavender, bergamot. And so it's the same thing. I am whole. I am whole. I am whole. So each one that is made is made that way. Okay. We also have the oils for the chakras. So and this you make those after you've um, after you've cleared your etheric energy during your meditation practice on um, whatever chakra you're working on. Throughout the day, you could um, what is it? Solar plexus. Yay! This is energy. So mm -hmm. you would just you know put that on, and that that aroma will keep you going throughout the day to remember your practice that you've been working on. Okay. And it also, you know, gets into your pores and it has the same ingredients as the mist, except for, you know, this is oil and this is the water with hazel mix. Um, Cause I'm using alcohol in my products, but then that just keeps that going so that, you know, when you have a meditation practice, you don't feel like you're just wasting it once a day. You know, because you're clearing your space, you're clearing your energy, you're doing all the things to, you know, get a jump start on that practice and into that chakra. You know, if you get the oil, you can take it with you throughout your day. Oh, okay. So it can remind you and... And reground you on your practice. Okay. I like so that. that. <laughs> don't forget, you know, mid traffic jam, I've been working on my heart chakra and, you know, I'm going to take this guy out, you know, like... <laughs> if you end up getting a whiff of that geranium, that's pretty. Um, Ooh, pretty uh, oh, sorry, I should have <laughs> forgot to turn that off. Um, so, where can people find you? Did you um, did you join our group uh, at uh, shamanicarts.studio? Yes, I believe I did. And said all okay, that. Okay, so if someone wanted to contact you, they could go there. Yes, they could. And then we also have the website, the AriesHolistics.com. Okay. Can you spell that? It's A-R-I-E-S-H-O-L-I-S-T-I-C-S.com. Okay. So it's holistics, not just holistic. Okay. Great. A plethora of services here. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us today. Well, I'm glad to talk to you. Like... Did I forget anything that I should have asked no. you? No, I think we pretty much touched on everything real quick, you know, just, you know, get it out there and get this going and, you know, let people know that I'm here in the Central Valley. I'm in Sanger, California, and okay. I, I am the only person in Sanger that does what I do. And I also can um, offer services in Spanish. So... Yeah. All right, so think about um, having a vac Colorado vacation. <laughs> I know, right? That'd be so awesome. That would be. We yeah. would love to have you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we'll start planning something out. Get out okay. there. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Julie.